Hi guys, back on the range and today we're going to test the Norma Match 22. Hey guys, back on the range. Nice to see you again. Today I was actually going to test some ammo at the 100 yard line. But Mother Nature is uh, not with me today. It's very windy. And I, when I say very, I mean very. So I pulled back the target from 100 to 50. And we will be testing the Match 22 from Norma. Well, actually RWS, because they are made in Germany by RWS. This cartridge was formerly known as the Norma 2, which is the match or semi-match cartridge from Norma. I'm going to start off by shooting 10 fowler, uh, 10 fowlers, and then we're going to go for groups. And as you might notice, there is no chronograph here today. And that is because my chronograph is no longer with us. I didn't shoot it, it just stopped working. So I have to raise some money for a new one. I'm thinking about the Garmin, but it's very expensive. So we'll see. I have to have something. And you can actually help me a little bit with, uh, with money for the new chronograph. Because if you press the like button and if you subscribe and share, you help me with YouTube's algorithms and they will give me a little bit of money for you watching my videos. And you can always also use super thanks if you want to give me a dollar or two if you really like my videos. Enough with the begging, let's do some shooting. Okay, 10 followers. Upper right, uh, sorry, upper left target. That was actually a nice fowler group. Okay, let's uh, dial it. Maybe a couple of clicks to the right. And let's keep the height. I suspect that this ammunition is what RWS calls rifle match. If you look at the rifle match on the numbers from uh, and compare it with the MASH-22, they are pretty much the same. And, and the rifle match is a, is a good cartridge. Okay. Shooting for group. Uh, upper right target. It split the group in two. I think I have to go back left again. I've shot much better group than that with the Norma before. But as I said, it's very windy today. And as many of you know, I'm not the best at fighting wind and reading wind. Ah, summertime, it gets very slippery when you're working with lubed ammunition. Okay, center target. Whoa! I really wish I had a chronograph on that one. Ah. Too bad with the wind. I would really like to show you this cartridge and what it can do. I might do another test with it later. Maybe even in the Bergara. Okay, lower left corner. Maybe not shoot the camera at, at, at the uh, target stand. Hmm. 
That's better. Let's try to move it a little bit to the left. So, and then I'm gonna try to shoot some paintballs and maybe split a playing card or or something like that after I'm done with the paper target. I like to have some fun too. Not too bad. Okay, gonna go and realign the camera. I can tell you it's a really nice day to salute the flag. Because it's it's blowing pretty hard down at the target. Okay. Now we can see that there are some paintballs hanging under the stand. There are some empty brass on the top left. And also three play playing cards. And the question is, can I hit any of them? If I can clear the rack in, let's say, uh, 20 rounds. If you can clear the rack in 20 rounds, you have to subscribe. And you, if it already doesn't, if it already doesn't do it, and you have to like this video and also comment on it. Maybe even share it. Ugh. New magazines are hard. Okay, let's start with the paintballs. I'm going from right to left. And I was hitting a tad high and a tad to the left. So let's see. Oh, the wind. Easy peasy. Number two. Oh. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number twelve. Number now over to the empty brass. And I just noticed that one of the brass is a 38 Super. Ooh. Shooting that luxury brass. Well, it is what it is. I think I'm going from, let's see, going from left to right on the empties. Man, it's windy. Ooh, number one, two. Ah, got too cocky. What the heck? Let's see, I was shooting a little bit high. Okay. had such a nice flow there. And suddenly I'm just missing everything. Okay, concentrate, concentrate now. There we go. And now the super brass. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't get myself to hit it, you know. Okay. There it goes. And the last brass. Bye bye. Now I have 
four or five rounds to hit three playing cards. I uh, actually don't think I'm gonna do, be able to make it, but we'll have to try. Okay, I'm going for the right, the right playing card first. That's a mess. This is really hard. Nope, no joy. Uh, two left. I grazed it. Oh, are you kidding me? I have two left. <laughs> okay, still got the chance. Nope. Yay! On the last round. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to retrieve the target and measure them up. Let's start by taking a look at the Fowler group. Remember, this is 10 rounds and it ended up at just over half an inch. Pretty good actually. Now over to group number one. It ended up at 0 0.471 inches. And group number two was 0 0.663 inches. So, this group is actually larger than the 10 shot Fowler group. Group number 3 could have been really good without that one flyer, but it still ended up at 0 0.361 inches. And lastly, the group number 4 ended up at 0 0.439 inches. And this gives us an average of just under half an inch at 0 0.488 inches. And as I said, unfortunately, we don't have any chrono numbers for this video. And that was all for this time, and I'll see you in the next video.